Hello everyone! Good morning! It's our day off, it's a day in our lives and today I'm gonna give you all my little tips and tricks to become fluent in English. I know you'll love this vlog. Let me first talk about today's sponsor. Let's go there. You might remember Ana Luisa from one of my previous vlogs. Ana Luisa is a jewelry company that makes very beautiful pieces. And honestly, I don't usually wear jewelry, but ever since I met them, I've started using jewelry a lot. And I think their pieces look really, really good with my outfit, so. But today I'm here to tell you that in November, they have a special campaign sale. If you go to their website and you buy two pieces, they will give you 40% off on one of them, which is really good if you want some new jewelry or if you want to buy some presents. So just check it out. In the description box below, there's the link. Also, I mentioned this in my previous vlog, but Ana Luisa is really environmentally friendly. They're carbon neutral. And I feel like in this period where it feels like the world is falling apart and burning. I don't know, it makes you feel good to do something, not only for yourself, but also for the environment, you know, like the two things together. But let's talk about the new pieces that they sent me this time. They sent me this ring. I love it because I love that it's golden and white and it's adjustable so you don't have to know which ring size you are. And it's like not too elegant. You can wear it with a lot of things. Then they sent me this set. It's a set. So it's three necklaces. The other day I wore this one, only this one, and it looked beautiful. Then I think last weekend I wore these two and they looked beautiful and today I'm wearing them all together. But they also sent me another very very cute necklace with a little heart. Look at it, it's so pretty. And I also got a necklace for one of my friend because guys, I told you I really like the brand. I got it, she loved it, so good present. But now let's move on and start the vlog and talk about your English tips. Hi, it's a beautiful day. Brian is taking a shower and I want to start with our first... And I just saw Brian in his robe. I want to start with the first, maybe the most important tip. Practice. Practice. I know a lot of you guys study a lot. You listen to a lot of podcasts. Great. You watch a lot of movies in the original English language. Great. You read a lot in English, but you don't practice i know what you're thinking you're thinking well sonia it's easy for you to practice you have an american husband yes you're right but i used to practice a lot even before meeting ryan that's how i got good before meeting him how well if you have friends abroad the easiest thing to do is talk to them if you have a friend who's interested in english and they want to improve just like you try and speak english i used to speak english literally every day with my mom and dad and they don't speak english now my dad kind of does and i think it's because of me because of years and years and years of like hey dad how was your day and he was like Ma cosa stai dicendo? so do that second thing you can do you can write i'm not a fan i don't really like to write but i do think it's useful if you're trying to improve your grammar and vocabulary because when you write things down you don't really improve pronunciation obviously but you do fix your grammar and you memorize words better third thing you can do highly highly underestimated and it's one of the best things you can do and i used to do it all the time and i still do with other languages you can think in english that's not useless that's one of the best exercises because you review stuff with repetition things become more automatic let's say you want to say i'm hungry you know how to say that you know that you shouldn't use the verb to have because in italian we say i have hunger but in english you say i'm hungry if you say it every day every time you're hungry in your head and you're like mm, i'm hungry i'm hungry when you're actually in a real conversation and you need to speak english and you need to say i'm hungry it will be automatic you will immediately say i'm hungry you won't have to think about like should i use the verb to be or the verb to have what if you don't know words it doesn't matter just move on when you have time you'll go back and you'll look it up uh, it's so important if you started thinking in english every day like 30 minutes or one hour a day you would see how easier it would be for you to speak when it's time to speak okay well that's enough let's see if brian's ready i'm sure he has some tips for you too <laughs> hi i was looking for you 
How are you? Good. Good morning. Where are you going? You a penguin? Today's topic is how to learn English. Add more English to your life. We decided we wanted to go to Villa Adriana. If you don't know what that is, it's like a very ancient, beautiful villa, but it's almost like a park. We really didn't want to stay home all day, every day, but we didn't want to go to a shopping mall either, even though it was Friday and they were open. We wanted to do something safe. Tip number two. We talked about grammar and vocabulary earlier. Now we talk about pronunciation. Record yourself. Use your phone, record yourself. I know, I don't know why, a lot of you guys don't like to listen to your own voice. Maybe I'm super used to it because I was a singer, but I think it's very useful because usually when you record yourself, you can usually spot a couple of things that don't sound right. And if they don't sound right, you can work on them. There are some apps, like one app is called Voice Tube, and they pick a piece, like a little short clip of a video for you, like 10 seconds, and you should record that. And then you can replay it and re-listen to it and repeat it. You don't have to use Voice app. You can use any other apps or just you do it yourself. It doesn't matter. Closed. I think everything is, is that closed. Tivoli? Yeah, that's Tivoli over there. I know that museums are closed, but I thought on the weekend. I mean, and this is not a museum, it's a park! Even going to a Tivoli will be outside. Yeah, maybe we can just walk around Tivoli. Okay guys, change of plans. Villa Adriana is closed. I wanted to show him. It looks cool. Yeah, we can come back after coronavirus. If there's ever an after. Oh, stop! <sighs> Do you have a tip for them? Come on, before we go to Tivoli. It's kind of adding on to my previous tip, but ask yourself how much English do I have in my life? If it's less than 10% of my daily language usage, probably aren't gonna make too much progress. If it's above 10%, you're on the right path. If it's at 50%, you'll be good in no time. Wow, 50% is a lot. I know that it's a lot. If you're dedicated, Babe, this is so beautiful. You like it? I love it. I've been here many times, but it never before. I know. With this beautiful background, let me give you my third tip. Find a language partner. It all comes to practice. How can you find a language partner? Well, you can use one of those apps like HelloTalk and find someone who is serious about learning a language. The only con is that a lot of people are not serious about learning a language. They just want to use it as a dating app. You can use Slowly, it's another app. You can find pen pals, and I noticed that people are more serious on Slowly. You can use italki. You don't have to buy lessons on italki. There's a whole section where you can find language partners, or you can have my lessons. I usually try to match my students, the students who are learning Italian and English. It's not something that I can guarantee, but it's something that I usually do with my students so that they can have extra practice. Or you can join our Discord page. Brian has a Discord page for Bringlese and and on our Discord page there are some English native speakers and Italian native speakers so there are many many ways to find a language partner if you want to get one you will as usual we just walked around and we enjoyed that beautiful beautiful Friday morning of course there weren't a lot of people out most shops were closed most restaurants were closed but we really enjoyed it anyways and then we even had lunch like a small lunch at a cafe just support the economy right Brian was telling me that he's feeling a little sad because even when we try and do some like... Sad's not the best word. You said defeated. Yeah, I feel beat down. Even when we try and do things, of course, it's always like, I don't know. You know what? I want to keep this vlog positive. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, forget it. Yo, what's that virus they talking about? I don't even know. I don't even know. And you guys want to focus on your English. Like, this can be your goal. To feel better, he decided to have a cappuccino and a piece of crostata. And we met a little guy here. Look how cute he was. Yes, he's giving you a little piece. 
Next tip might seem a given, but I know that you feel strongly about it. Focus on communication, do not focus on mistakes. Like if you're overly concerned about always being perfect and having the right pronunciation and the right grammar, your fluency won't be that good, at least at the beginning. Because I'm a perfectionist, I feel you, I always want to be really, really, really good. But languages are about communicating. If you think too much about being perfect, you're gonna turn into dust. You're not gonna be fluent and you're not gonna enjoy speaking English. When do you enjoy speaking English? When you see that you can actually communicate. If you're taking lessons and you feel like you're stuck because you don't wanna make mistakes in front of your teacher, please, please make mistakes. That's how we learn. We went to the grocery store to get groceries and guys, I don't know if you know it because I think it's only in Rome or in Lazio but Elite is my favorite grocery store. They have so many things and products, you have to try it. We're home and our exciting, exciting day has come to an end just because we're not leaving the house anymore. We're gonna eat something and watch something. But I have two more pieces of advice for you. Number one, have a goal in mind. It's easy when you start a new project, especially with a language, because usually it takes some time. It's almost like fitness, you know, you can't expect to be great at something like the next day or the next week. You have to have a goal that will help you stay motivated. And I see it a lot with my students, with some of my students. They start off like studying every day and they improve a lot and they do a lot, but after a month or two, then they get tired. And that's normal, that's absolutely normal. I get tired sometimes Sometimes like languages are up and down but you kind of have to have a goal so that you will find the motivation again and last this is me but I think that active practicing and exercising is way better than passive I hear a lot of people who say I watch a lot of Netflix shows in English or I listen to a lot of podcasts don't get me wrong that's super useful but I believe that actively exercising and not being passive is way better. It's uncomfortable, but if you're watching something, be ready to pause the show and maybe write down the new word or expression you don't know and after the episode, look it up. You learn a new word, write a sentence with it. Use it in your head the next day. I know, not the best. That's useful. It's easy for me because I have Brian and if I don't understand something, I'm like, Brian, what does that mean? And he tells me. It's a little bit more complicated when you have to pause the video and look it up, but you can write it somewhere and after the show you can look it up. All right, let me ask Brian. Do you have any other pieces of advice for our learners? Focus on the big picture of what you're trying to do. You're just trying to be able to talk to people who speak a different language. You're not so focused on like, what's the difference between will and going to? Like, just yeah. get your point across and then go from there. I like, know. worry about perfect perfecting everything at the end. In the meantime, just start getting your point. Across. I know, but honestly, it's not even their fault. In school, they focus so much on the difference between going to and will and present continuous. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check Ana Luisa out and subscribe to my channel. And thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.